Hey guys, part Doc Seal here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part 15 of our making a Discord bot in Python series. Now, uh, this video is going to be about events and a uh, full on disclaimer here. I should have pushed this video out way early on in the series. I'm talking maybe episode three, four, possibly five at latest. However, uh, for some odd reason, I just haven't thought about uh, pushing this video out that soon. So, um, if you already feel like you know enough about events with Discord.py, uh, feel free to skip this video and go on to the next one. However, if you uh, are interested in learning more about events, uh, feel free to stay around and uh, I'll show you guys a few things we can do with them. So uh, the first thing I want to show you guys is all the events that uh, comes with Discord.py. So we already know the ones like, uh, uh, let me look at my uh, main Discord bot, like the on guild join or the remove, or if I go to my leveling system here, the on message event. We know all that uh, good stuff there. Uh, however, there is some more events than just the on wheel join remove or the on message or the on member join remove uh, events. There's uh, so many different types of events uh, we can actually do here. Now, I'm going to pull up an API reference I want you guys to see. Now, this is the official discord.py documentation. Uh, if I can remember, I will try to put this... Uh, URL in the description, but it's just discordpy.readthedocs.io slash en for English slash stable slash api.html. Uh, it's a bit of a long link, but uh, pretty readable and easy to uh, copy, but I'll try to leave the link in the description, guys. But anyways, um, if you see your table of contents here, you want to navigate down until you see event reference. And here's all the categories for events that we have. We have app commands, which are the slash commands. And um, we have auto mod. So these are all events on auto mod rule create. And then there's channels on guild channel delete or create or update. Pins as well, so I can pin a message. However, the ones that uh, we've seen so far are the on guild join and on guild remove event. Uh, we haven't really talked about update, although you may have seen it. And we've also seen on message, not on message edit, but we've definitely seen this one here on message. And uh, we've also seen the on member join and remove uh, events. So I'm going to use uh, these two events here and uh, the on message event um, for uh, a few examples. For our uh, Discord bot. Now, I I know uh, you guys are all probably familiar with a thing called logging. So, if you had like a moderation bot in your server, you may have seen a command to set up a uh, logging channel. So that way, um, when something happens in the server, like if someone gets kicked or muted, um, it can be logged in said channel. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how we can do that, and uh, I'm going to be working in a cog today, so I'm going to be uh, doing this in a more object-oriented manner. So you guys, if you guys want to do this in your main file, that's fine, but I like working in cogs because uh, it's just more organized and it's my preference. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and type in command.cog.listener. And this is basically the decorator for an event in a cog. If you were working in your main file, it would be, um, I think, client.event or at client.event or uh, at bot.event, whatever uh, you have it as. But in cogs, it's always going to be commands.cog.listener. But uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and make our function here. So a sync def, because this is obviously an asynchronous function. And uh, we want to do one about message, so just like the API had it uh, named, it's going to be on underscore message, and we're going to pass in message that way, just like that. Now we can print message, just like that. And if I were to go ahead and run this bot, and uh, 
bring uh, Discord over here. I'm going to keep it in my uh, other window just because I want you guys to see uh, what I have typed. But I just typed in hello world into my thing. We have a problem. Aha, uh -huh. got the pass itself. Oh well, that happens, guys. So I'm going to redo this again. I always forget to pass in self, so if you're working in a class, don't forget to do that. But anyways, as you can see, I sent a message uh, called Hello World. And um, as you can see, it sends the entire object. Now, um, obviously, this is not all what you want. I mean, it could be useful here. You got the message ID, the channel ID, the name of the channel. The categories ID and you got the members ID and the name and discriminator of the person that sent a message and the guild's name and ID. All that's cool and all. However, um, what if we just want the content of that said message? So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, events here and I'm going to just type in dot content and, uh, I'm going to reload the bot here and I want to show you guys uh, how this works so I'm going to type in hello world um, and then subscribe to paradoxio yep I'm being a sellout guys but anyways as you can see it printed out the contents of that message I've sent to my server and this is pretty useful for uh, logging messages and stuff like that and um, now you're probably wondering, uh, how is printing it to your output useful? Well, uh, the thing is, it's not useful at all. However, um, what we can do is we can make an embed. Now, I've already set up a logging channel for my uh, Discord server, my test server here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, create a log channel variable here. And I'm going to set it to discord.utils.get. And then I'm going to type in message.channel or message.guild.channels. And then I'm going to set the name equal to log-channel. That's the name of my channel. I want to create an embed here. So uh, I'm just going to type in uh, event embed. embed uh, title. Message uh, log. Description's going to be uh, messages, content, and origin. That's pretty cool, and we can give it a color. So, Discord dot color dot green. So, uh, pretty neat, and then we can. Uh, Type of event embed dot add field name is going to be um, message author and then value is going to be um, message dot author dot mention just like that and then we can type an in inline and we can set the false that way it's a uh, sent from top to bottom instead of left to right and then and then a uh, name is going to be origin channel um now sometimes i would um put origin guild origin however it doesn't really matter i'm actually gonna switch these around there we go Alright, so uh, then value is going to be message.channel.mention. Then inline is going to be false. And then uh, we can have the uh, content. Then name is equal to message content. And then value message dot and inline we're gonna set the false now we're gonna type in await 
or uh, not CTX, but log channel dot send and embed is equal to um, event embed. So just like that, if we were to go ahead and uh, rerun this bot and um, run this command, or not command, but uh, run this event here. So if I type in, hey guys, how is it going? It's going to send a message to the log channel. It's going to be this embed I have created. So it says message log, messages content and origin. So message author, uh, obviously I mentioned because I'm the one who sent the message. It also tells me the channel that the message came from and it has the content of the, of the message. So I have it saying, hey guys, how's it going? Because that is what I sent right here. So that is one way you can log um, messages. Now, obviously, this isn't limited to messages. You can log pretty much anything in Discord uh, using these events that I've shown you in that API reference. So uh, we're going to try two more events here. It's going to be on member join and leave. So I'm going to uh, get out of there real quick. The commands listener, And this one's going to be for when a member joins. So on member join. And pass in member. Now I'm going to uh, copy and paste this log channel variable. Uh, whoops. Did I not copy and paste that? And then just like that, except we want to change this to member, not message, because uh, this isn't taking in a message, it's taking in the member. And then um, I'm going to just basically copy this event embed here so arrival log okay this user landed in the circle and then um I'll remove message.author and just keep it as member.mention and then um one type of user join just like that and then we can type in the wait um log channel dot send and then uh, embed is equal to event embed now we're going to do the same thing but with when a uh, user leaves so to do that we just take this here and then type in remove so on member remove and then uh depart sure log this server this user left the server and then user left and just like that uh, we got two more events here for one when a user joins and leaves so oh wait a minute guys i need to pass itself don't want to repeat that silly mistake again so just go ahead and run this now. And pull up Discord again. So I'm going to join with my alt. So I'm actually going to go ahead and switch counts. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And I'm going to join the server through here. Now, if we see in the log channel that uh, log that I have joined, and if I were to uh, leave this server and then switch accounts. So now I'm back onto my main account, the account that owns the server. Look back and it, uh, it logged me leaving the server. So basically what we've done here, we created a little log system here that logs whenever the message is sent and the arrival and departure of a user or when a member joins and leaves the server so uh just like that um we have successfully created a uh moderation logging system or just a logging system using events for discord.py now of course like i said already this isn't just limited to these message events or the on member join and remove events uh, all of those events that I've shown you on that API reference, like all those events under that uh, event reference uh, drop down menu, all can be logged. Uh, just like that. 
Uh, it's pretty neat. Now, uh, obviously, if your uh, bot is server unique and you want each server to have their own channel to be sent to, you can do this by uh, using um, JSON files, just like I did in my last episode for Welcome Message. We add it to where each server can have a custom channel. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to record another video tonight and uh, upload that later. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, um, be sure to subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And uh, if you guys like to see more videos like this, uh, smash that like button. Show me some love and support. If you uh, happen to got stuck or uh, something went wrong with your code and you need help, join my server. Uh, the Discord link will be in the description. Right now we're at about 130 members. Uh, everyone's really nice, so we try to help out as many people as we can. Uh, everybody's extremely helpful, so good place to hang out and uh, get some help on your code. So, uh, yeah. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.